Everybody, what's going on, everybody? Um, if you was tuned in yesterday, I'm doing everything from my cell phone or smartphone. Um, currently, I'm going to put or install this carbon fiber wing or spoiler that I got from eBay on. Looks good. Quality is there. And it will be on the edge of this trunk panel for my Q50. So I'm going to put that right here. Um, I would say you don't have to necessarily follow the rules 100% when it comes to wanting to upgrade your look with just regular uh, rubbing alcohol and things of that nature. Um, you can use you a clean cloth that you can get from Dollar General for maybe, I don't know, $2 or something like that. Um, this cloth that I'm using right here, it's a little bit too big, but this is what I have for right now. Um, I didn't prepare for this video or anything, um, but this cloth has never been used. It's still rolled up, if you can see that. So I never used it. And I'm going to use this and good old Windex. And to be honest, what I'm going to do with the Windex, I'm not even going to unroll this. I'm going to just spray that. That's all nice and moist. Um, I'm going to wipe the trunk first. Sorry, my um, hand is in the way. But I'm just going to wipe that. I'm under my garage. You don't want to do this under direct sunlight. You kind of want the humidity of where you at to kind of dry this off and it evaporates itself. So that was the damp side of the cloth. I now have turned it to the, or flipped it to the other side of the cloth. And I'm just gonna go back over it. Again, the humidity, depending on where you at, but if it's pretty much hot out there, um, depending on where you're at in the country, then this still should apply. If it's hot, it, it should just evaporate. So that's that. I'm not gonna re-damp this in. I'm gonna just take this and nicely clean this. I need to get that tape out of there. That sticker that came with this bumper, I guess that was for quality control logistic purposes. But I'm doing this all freehandedly, wiping any excess dirt off the trunk space. So everything is good. We should be good to go. I'm going to place that there. Again, just a normal mesh towel. It can be smaller than this. And some Windex. You don't necessarily need alcohol. You know, just be smart. It's solution based, so you don't have to worry about that. Now here's the bread and butter. You're gonna want some 3M tape. This is 3M tape. Have you guys take a look at that. 3M tape that actually came with the bumper from the company, and I'll list the company below. And some relatively decent scissors and you should be able to cut through this tape easily now what some people do which i'm actually a fan of is they would take um and i'm adjusting my tripod right now they would take the tape and adhere it very well to the spoiler first and I'm going to do that I have some leftover 3M tape 
that I'm going to use first. And you pretty much just want to make sure you get the outside layers. This is the outside up here. I'm sorry. It's the outside and right here is the middle. So you want to make sure that you get that aligned perfectly well before you uh, do anything else with your 3M tape. And actually it looked like I'm out of that tape so I'm going to use the brand new pack that I have right here. Open that up. Um, I remember back in the day uh, you used to have to apply 3M tape to uh, I mean, not 3M tape. You used to, when, when you install spoilers, you used to have to drill into the trunk of your car. But nowadays with 3M tape, man, you don't even need to do half of the stuff that they used to charge an arm and a leg for. So, right now, and I'll be coming back into frame soon. Matter of fact, I just bring the camera here so you don't hear me talking. But I'm lining this outside layer first, leaving maybe a quarter of an inch. If that, if you can see it, leaving a little bit of space, not exactly on the edge, but just enough so once I take this plastic film off, once I uh, peel it back, that uh, double-sided tape can expand once I put pressure on the trunk. So you don't never want to put it extremely exactly to the very edge of your spoiler. So, doing that again, I'm just trying out these, uh, these, this YouTube world. You know, sometimes, man, vlogging isn't for everybody. And it's how I look at it. If you do what you love and it's a passion, I would say go for it. But uh, if you heard that sound just now, I just took my scissors and I made the first tape. So I'm going to apply pressure all the way up into here. So let that sit. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Do the same thing. Um, I may just cut this immediately. Cause I kind of know what went left. I need to go on this side as well. But man, yeah, this 3M tape, once it's down, it is down. And there's no denying um, the strength of this 3M tape. But, um, the wing cost me, or spoiler, I'm sorry, I'm country, so you got to forgive me on that. But the spoiler cost, I believe, 135 That's not bad. It's carbon fiber. Again, on my last video, I wish I would have went with the black. And again, I'm leaving space at the edge, so once I apply pressure, it will then adhere to the bumper, to the trunk rather, relatively nicely. And I don't put a bunch of pressure down on it immediately until I know it's there. So that's there. Make sure I get my corners 
My corners are right here. Slide that in. My corners are right there. So that only requires maybe maybe a two inches of tape. So I'm gonna get this side quickly and then I'll be back on that side. Right now, this video has been going for 10 minutes, but that's really because I've been talking for that long um, and trying to demonstrate this, but this is probably, probably a 10 minute job. After you prep stuff and you make sure it's right and you put the uh, spoiler on, it's probably a 10 minute job. So it's about right. So I'm putting this on now. Again, on the other end. So I'm not showing you this end right now. Cause I'm, I will be back on the other end to demonstrate what I did. And I'm doing this by myself guys, so. No worries, no. No hiccups, none of that good stuff. Again, let's see if I can angle it. So you may have to turn your head a little bit. I'm measuring this up. You see my reflection in the trunk well, now again I'm uh, from South Carolina so it is very humid it stays humid here in this great state of our oh man I'm being kind of sarcastic but it is what it is again I don't want to make I don't want it to be too close to the edge Cause once I apply that pressure, this is right here is fine. That gap is fine. You just want to make sure all corners are met. This back end piece, this back end piece here is what I'm concerned about. I want to make sure I get all of that tape to stretch from left to right across that back end piece because that's going to be our main foundation for this tape. Um, that's literally it. That's going to be our main foundational piece. I've rolled out already. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. But you want it to still line up with the edge, but not too close to the edge. And I'm doing a good job so far. I couldn't wait to put this bad boy on. You know, it have to be necessarily straight. You know, but if you're OCD, then you may want to get it absolutely straight with the edge. Me personally, I don't need to. Bam, I'm going to move this tripod this way so you can see that I'm continuing to do the same thing from left to right. And I'm only, apply I'm only applying pressure to certain parts of it, like here where I wanted to lay and see that was too close. And you see, I almost kind of messed up, but I'm only applying pressure to to where I want it to stick at, so it it holds for me. And I can show you again. I expanded it for a while, and I touch. See, I was able to pull that up, and I touch right there. That secures it. You can see a little bit of the spoiler 
hang off. I'm not exactly on the edge. I'm taking my thumb and I'm just running it across. Because again, once you apply pressure to this sticky adhesion, it's going to uh, expand a little bit. And I'm actually, I haven't cut anything. I'm just rolling it, stamping it with my thumb, applying pressure with my thumb at those critical points. So if I think I messed up, I can probably pull up, pull it up. But bam, that's that. I got my scissors, is that the end? I may want to cut this back again, maybe a quarter of an inch. Simple. And these are some cheap scissors, so, you know, it is what it is. Now, what I've seen a lot of people do is they were initially start it and lay it first without taking the paper off for the adhesion to start. And I can say, see how gummy it is? By just pulling on it, it's a little stretchable. But yeah, some people do this method. But before you do this method, again, I was just pressing at certain intervals. Make sure you go back. You know, you want that, that guideline, but make sure you go back and press press it down fully now if you're satisfied with your taping. So I'm going all the way down, making sure I'm satisfied with everything. Because you can easily mess this up. Easily. And you don't want to you don't want a botch job on this. You want you want a seamless job. Don't put too much pressure on it. Like me. And it's actually moving. So, with that being said, you cut, release some of that pressure off, and I'll show you. I was too, but putting too much pressure. Again, you tap, but you cut to release it. And then you can kind of reset. Kind of. But it's already as flimsy as it's going to be. So, I may make an adjustment to that, but tap it. I was rubbing across, and it was moving, but tap to put that pressure on it. But this is an easy fix right here. Um, just take your scissors. Make that cut. Re-glue. I mean, re-tape. You see, I got it on the far end. I'm gonna push that up a little bit. I'm gonna take the part that I just cut because I still kind of want that silic there. You can either get you a fresh new tape, but I didn't put too much pressure on it. It's already prepped, it's already clean. You know, that was my mistake, but again, I'm no professional. This is just a DIY type thing. Um, if you want to take it and go get done, do it, but. I wanted to see it on my car ASAP, so um, cut those pieces and tape like so. Not the cleaners right there, but again, once it adheres to everything, it'll be perfectly fine. I find people on in YouTube world try to be too perfect but hey if I did if this was my fourth time or fifth time doing something like this then I wouldn't make these mistakes but this is literally my first time ever installing a spoiler on any car I went ahead and took the edges off of that because um, there's no need to waste um, peeling those at the end you know, you kind of want those to kind of adhere to the car once you put down the tape. I got a little bit of fingernail, but you can, you can use a blade on this to start it. Now, 
matter of fact, that exacto knife will get the job done perfectly. So, you heard me peel back on this far side. Woo, it's hot. It's already peeled on this side. Let me get this, this top of upper piece started. Then I'm gonna hang to the side like that. This part again. Alrighty, looks like we're in business. Let me get this other piece down. Alrighty, so what we're about to do now is we've been hovering over the car and I'm sure Maybe some dust particles or dirt. Um, Redamp this cloth again. You know, one, one squeeze. It don't need to be ridiculously wet. You see some of this dirt? Wipe off. Wipe off. Wipe off. Wipe off. Again, if you want to, you can flip it, go back over, but you can kind of see that it's drying itself. So, you don't necessarily, I'm going over this part with the dry part, you don't necessarily have to do that because we already adhered the spoiler to it. So, right now the spoiler is on upside down. With a quick turn, it's right there. Now, this is the hard part that I'm going to have probably difficulty showing you guys. Um, and it's really, let me see if I can turn, turn the video. Well, it's really putting this on. So, I won't be able to show you that, but you see how I'm lining up everything? That's literally what I'm doing. I'm lining it up on the edges. And I'm lining it up on the edges. So I'm about to press this down for a second, making sure I got my starter string hanging out. All righty. And I can bring it back down here. Since I want it flushed on this end, I'm not applying pressure nowhere else, even though the adhesion is going to adhere to the trunk. I'm only putting it there first, making sure that it's flush with that edge of the trunk so it looks professionally done. And I'm going to do the same on this edge to make sure that it's flush. And I'm really not even applying pressure. Now, I left this string out. And I left that string out at the bottom. Because I already have this adhered at the ends on the car. Well, I'm sorry that this is 24 minutes. I may put a, uh, uh, like a timer on, time stamp on the parts that you may need to go. Because I'm not going to edit this video. This is all off of my phone. But if you like what you're seeing, which I really don't right there, I may have to bring it over a little bit. But if you like what you're seeing thus far, I would say okay, now that I believe it's perfectly 
lined up on the ends. Bam. You know. It's not going nowhere. Like I'm moving it. Yesterday I could just lay it here. But I have enough of this peel back already. So it's taped right there. I have enough of this peel back already that's, that is taped underneath as well. All you want to do now is peel. And peel the tape upward. You don't want to peel downward because remember, that's where your tape was at. Bam. Perfectly done. And I already did this on this side. So this side right here doesn't need it because I already peeled it back. All righty. And just peel. I'm taking my time. I don't need to rush. This is just a tutorial. And it's coming off seamlessly. Almost like uh, cutting tape. Bam. Now that you know that, apply pressure. Apply pressure. It's not going anywhere. That 3M tape is like cement. I'm talking about it's literally not going anywhere. Like this, it's on there. It's like, and you know, if you can't get that with strength, you know, pressure from your body. And I'm a computer scientist at the end of the day. I'm not going to talk physics right now. But the force that I'm exerting on this spoiler should be greater than the wind. I mean, I may be wrong with that. I may possibly be wrong, but I'm thinking you're not going to get a better adhesion than that. So it's raining. Step back. Look at your work. It's a little bit of gap right there. But it's only because I didn't put any tape right there. And I don't mind that. Because if we have to do it again, we can do it again. But for now, that's not going anywhere. I can bet my bottom dollar. This part right here. I didn't put any tape on this part. Now, looking at it, I should have. So if you were to order this spoiler, you may want to. But I'm not really tripping, man. I'm not tripping at all. I'm more so worried about this top scene where the water can seep versus right here, where the water still could trickle down, you know, whether in rain or washing your car. And like I said, just have you some 3M tape on handy if you notice that your spoiler is getting uh, weak. Okay, take that same cloth and then just wipe your fingerprints off the bad boy. And that, my friend, is my way. I'm not going to say it's the perfect way, but my way of actually putting a spoiler on. So thank you guys for tuning in and until next time, you know, see what else I have as far as the DIY is concerned. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. That looks good right there. I like that. And, you know, maybe get my thumbnail action. I don't know. Windex, cloth, and... Scissors. We're going to wrap this up right at 30 minutes. Peace, guys.